Are you here? Yeah, pretty good. Information Juliet 2053 Zulu. Wind 320 at 13, visibility 10, one skies broken 3300, overcast 4000, temperature 06, 2.01, altimeter 2975. RNAV approaching east, landing departing on my 27 left. VFR departures provide ground control with on course heading in degrees. Notice airman, aircraft use caution for construction and barricades on the school, FBO, and west ramps. Runways 9 left, 27 right, and 523 closed. Taxiways Echo, Golf, and Hotel closed. All taxiway surface painted holding position signs are faded. Taxiway Charlie location sign approaching the runway 27 right unlit. Taxiway Alpha 1 holding position sign unlit. Five stolen contact information, Juliet. You want to pick up the winds? Take time information, winds, Juliet. Uh, three, 2053 zero, zero, Zulu. Wind 320 at 1 3, visibility 10. Skies broken 3,300. Overcast 4,000. What was it? Zero six and then zero one. Okay. I was just gonna try and I was I'm sure you're the same. Uh, set up everything while we're here on the ground. So we're gonna try to put everything in for Delaware first. Yeah. That makes it a lot easier. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do. Boss. I would actually, I would go in and put Delaware into the flight plan. Ah, back. Go back and flight plan. Oh. <laughs> the reason I like to do that is because then it makes it a lot easier if, say I'm flying a bigger airplane, I have to fly a departure. Um, so I still have Ohio State in the flight plan. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, the same proce low procedure. And we actually, uh, we filed for Hamby, so go back to procedures. Like the approach again, and set of vectors. We go. State number two in line, two seven left, clear to land, phone test traffic on a short final. All right. And then you can load it. Great. All right, so AWOS, we got Unicom. We'll be on. We'll probably switch that one to approach. Okay. Four twenty nine. Trying to turn off the Delta Alpha to the ramp. My ground point. So I'm getting taxi up and then call him. Oh. Add one of those Stratus systems. Or like no, it's actually it's just a. Uh, it's like the Garmin version of a GoPro, but I use it to like, so I can right, record yeah. the cockpit audio, just to help yeah. me like, and just like, it'll, it holds, it actually also, uh, does like the yeah, G the GPS, so like I can, it can do like overlay, so actually when I'm done, I can like post process and it'll like show me like oh, yeah, my flight path and, and see how oh, well I'm like, awesome. yeah. Of course, it was down 31011.
I don't know if they've been closed since the last time you flew, but the north runway and the crosswind runway here are closed right now. Yeah, that's how got. Yeah, they're rehabbing the north. I got the totems. Perfect. <laughs> Date time, this is Scott X7574 at the uh, west ramp with information Juliet. Have a takeoff heading of uh, 270. Or we have the ISO for flight plane. Oh. 7546 out state, 27 off taxi via alpha. Taxi via alpha, uh, 27 or left. Uh. Two in the golf cab, roll down to 23, turn left there, and then alpha to the ramp. And state ground 75746. We should have a flight plan filed for Delaware. 746 on the scene, looking for the, uh, to pick that up now. 746 informative. 7746, I'll still declare Delaware has filed, maintain 3000, expect 4000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure 125.95, squawk 4237. 7546, clear to Delaware via as filed, 3000, expect 4000, 10 minutes, frequency is 125.95 and 4236, 37, correction, 75746. 46, carry back, correct? So when you need to file an alternate airport, one, two, three, uh, within one one hour before or after the uh, attendant arrival time, you need to have 2,000 feet um, and then three statute miles. Um, and if the, if the airport you're using as an alternate is VFR only, then it has to be VFR weather conditions. Or you can, what is it like you have to descend from like the MEA? It has, yeah. to be, it has to be VFR from the MEA down. Yeah. So far, has the, for you personally, has the instrument been the hardest rating? How do you like to set this? I always, like, the wings are just right on the line. Yeah. yeah. Basically where it is right now. I really don't use my attitude, attitude indicator very much when I'm flying anyways. Uh, it's bank angle. Alright, looks like we are ready to go do robes. Oh. Standing light for now. And once we're clear for takeoff.
take off, we'll turn the PDOT heat on. Okay. The reason we don't want to turn it on now is that if you leave it on on the ground too long, it can overheat. Okay, fair enough. Damage the skin. Over tower, let's put departure in the standby. One two five nine five. State tower, this is Scott seven five seven four six at uh, two seven left, ready for takeoff. So initially we'll climb up to 3,000 feet. Final looks clear. Hey, take off. Or the instruments are in the green. Nice takeoff. Thank you. All right, I have the airplane. Hey, you have the plane. Do you want us to switch over to departure? I'm 4 6, I have state contact departure. Got departure. Alright, you can tell departure we're climbing up 2,000. 3,000. Of 015. 015. 
746, you guys turn into uh, Delaware now. 746, we're in the turn. FedEx 739, heavy contact, Rick Tire, see ya. Convoy 3833, Columbus Parcher Raider contact, climb maintain 10,000. Over shot, Pat, a little bit. Uniform belt, turn right, heading 150, send a maintain 4000. Right turn to 150, we'll descend to 4000, 968 uniform delta. 7660, pop up, Columbus approach, altimeter is 2975. 2975, 7660, pop up. Envoy 3833, turn left, heading 160. And Columbus departure, 75746. We'd like to request RNAV 28 uh, from Hampi into Delaware. Delaware 75746, Columbus departure, 75746. Where did you say you wanted to do it from? The initial approach, Nick Hampi, 75746. And you want the uh, RNAV 28? Affirmative, 746. Roger, turn right, direct have me. Right, direct have me, 746. All right, so go flight plan. And scroll down. 696, Columbus departure rider contact. Uh, I maintain one zero ten thousand. And the direct button. Envoy 3833, contact Indy Center 135.5735, 57, see ya. Okay, so it's going to be 095. And I like to turn this to 095 just for situational awareness. Uh, Columbus Approach, 3355 Echo is with you 3000. 3355 Echo, Columbus Approach, Columbus Altimeter, 2975. Uh, 2975, 55 Echo. Alright, so right now it's probably a good time to start preparing the approach. I would go wings level now. November 746, I'm actually going to turn you to uh, turn left heading 040. I'll get you a direct cabinet here in a few. Got arrivals into OSU that i got to get down. Uh, Roger left 040, 746. I don't want to pick up ADIS. We're cast. Temperature 6.2.1. Altimeter 2.9.7.6. Delta. Six zero Papa, you have uh, OSU on site. Have OSU on site. Seven six six zero Papa. Six zero Delaware Papa. Delaware Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. Two one five nine zero. Weather in three one zero at one two gust one eight. Visibility one zero four thousand four hundred. Scattered ceiling six thousand. Overcast temperature six Celsius. Two point one. Traffic 10 o'clock, 5 miles southeast bound, citation 4000. Uh, tell them we're looking for the traffic. We're looking for the traffic, 75746. Break error 4696, contact Indy Center on 124.45. See ya. Right, so let's finish briefing the approach. Basically 3,000, 2,600 final approach fix. We got a visual descent point, um, LPV. We're still waiting on our terms, but we'll be 1,200 pretty much, or 1,400. Have um, is where it's have me, have me, have me, have me to pick up 3,000. Um, hey, and then. Uh, if we have to go missed, what's our missed, uh, missed approach? Climb 2600 straight to Muskie. Yeah. And OSU, uh, or and when they, uh, OSU they gave us heading 040. Eight uniform Delta. Eight uniform Delta, Roger. Uh, I have a clearance for you here in about two miles. Okay.
And uh, we'll probably get different misapproach instructions. November 8, uniform Delta cleared visual approach, runway 27 left, contact state tower, see ya. All right, cleared for visual 27 left, we'll contact tower 968, uniform Delta, we'll see ya. 746, traffic no factor. Roger, 746. And uh, 746, turn right heading 09 or 0, and uh, can, can I just set you up to cross Pickham? All right, we'll turn right 090 and we'd like to advise uh, we're going to go missed on the RNAV 2 approach, and following the RNAV, we'd we'll like to shoot the RNAV into Marysville. 746, roger, after completion of the option, uh, fly runway heading, maintain 3000, or turn back up this frequency. All right, following uh, the approach, it'll be runway heading 3000, remain the frequency, 75746. All right, so did you get the misapproach instructions? And 746, uh, just plan on starting this approach at Pickle. And 746, uh, roger. Climb to 3000. Yeah, straight ahead, so it'll be pretty simple. All right, so they said to uh, plan on starting the approach at Pickle. Pick, pick em. Not pick em, yeah. Okay. All right, so we need to go back in here and go back. Yeah. So, here, no, go back. Back. And procedures. Activate vector spinal. Oh, you know what? That won't have pickle, actually. So, you can go back, go procedures, and then approach under. Uh, transition. Uh, 13, Columbus Parcher Raider Contact. Should be able to have. 10, 1, 0, 10, 000, turn left thing 1, 6, 0. Okay, so just go ahead and put Habney back in. And, uh. Button approach activate. Yeah. No one's. Blue Street 5144, Columbus Parcher Raider Contact. Climb maintain uh, 1, 0, 0 10, yeah. Correct. Yep. But they, they put us on a 090 heading right now. Okay. So if we do go into clouds, we'll expect to pick up a little bit of icing. Okay. High five, Echo. Just let me know when you have OSU in sight. Yeah. Robbie, do you have a weather at OSU? I'm having issues with my weather radio. Yeah, Kilo's current. Their wind is 31010, visibility 10, a few clouds, 3,000, feeling 4,100, overcast, and altimeters 2975. All right, thanks. High five, Echo. Allegiant, uh, How would you fly the approach differently 13, if you uh, had to the bicycle? On 135.57, yeah. Um, I, I, mean, I don't know, we're at the minimum pretty much of 3,000, so I don't know that there's really much to do except... Yep, uh, so, so what you would want to do is you would want to fly the approach faster. Like the visual, 2-8 low. And you would want to keep your speed up. 10, basically uh. how you get to ground effect, because the airplane could really stall at any airspeed. You don't know how you've changed the shape of the wing. You also have the unknown increase in weight. turns. Yep. You, if you need to yep. make them. <laughs> uh, Columbus approach, 5-5 five, five Because you could be flying two, fine right two, at cruise five, speed, five, and seven, then you get into a 30 degree turn and the wing stalls. Thanks. Contact Indy Center 135.57, see ya.
Southwest 2983, center pilot discretion, maintain 6,000. November 746, turn left, direct pick em, cross pick em, 3,000, clear for the RNAV 28. Left, direct pick em, and uh, clear to RNAV 28 for Delaware. Convoy 9801, Columbus Parcher Raider contact. I'd actually go in and do the direct to pickle on the GPS. So they, since we're already fine to pick them, all you have to do is hit the direct button. Just verify it's pick them the right place and then activate it. Oh, nice. <laughs> Unless you maintain 3000 until. Six one eight nine, Columbus approach, turn right three one zero, intercept two eight left, localizer, expect a visual. Affirmative. On the way ninety eight oh one, turn left, direct Cincinnati. Andy usually have you fly the approaches. 90. 90, yep, perfect. Southwest 5802, Columbus Parker Rider. Right Whether I do that on purpose or actually, I mean, I'll be honest, I think it just kind of happens. I don't know that I actually yeah. like, mentally do it. <laughs> Southwest 6189, to Cinema maintain 6000. Envoy 9801, contact approach, one eight point eight five eighteen eighty five. 1885. See ya. is ending the approach stabilized. And you'll realize once you start flying more and more complex airplanes, like even in the bananas of flying approaches, everything happens so fast and there's so much more going on that it's really easy to get behind the airplane. Hey, and we have LPV. Southwest 5802, turn left 250. Southwest 2983, contact approach 118.2. Southwest 6189, contact approach 118.2. See ya. Okay, so you can see right now your ground track is 250 and the direct track is 286. So I would angle probably about 20 degrees to the right okay. and try and line that up so they're the same. I'd also twist this to what, two, two, eight, six. Six, two, eight, six. Uh, Verify that you're picking up the final final approach course. What's that for seven four six? Yes, sir. Just wanted to verify that you are picking up the final approach course. I show you heading uh, westbound and about a mile south of the final approach course. Seven four six. We're picking it up. Uh, we're correcting right now. Southwest 5802, turn left, hang 160, contact Indy Center on 135.57. So oh, I like to get my flaps in when I'm either one dot above the glide path or a mile from the final approach fix, whichever one's first. Let's try and stay at 3,000 feet until we picked up the glide path. Okay, all right. Seven four six. Talk to you on the or correction. Uh, change to advisory is approved. I'll talk to you on the go. Change to advisory approved. Get you on the fix.
Let's set maybe another five to ten degrees to the right. Um, so All we can right. start correcting this. I'm our flying's all about just always making small corrections. We have the needles starting to come down. Yeah. Hey, there's one dot. But the 10 degrees you want? Yep. And let's give Delaware traffic call. Delaware traffic 75746, just advise we're on an intermittent approach and we'll be executing a missed approach right at 1200. Okay, we can bring the power back now. So when we're 90 knots on the glide path, we get about 500 feet per minute. So you see that we're a little high right now. So let's increase our rate of descent just slightly about 500 feet per minute. Go 600 feet per minute, 700 feet per minute. It starts coming back. This is cheating when it tells you like oh, I your know. like directed path because I sure as heck don't have that on the simulator and that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. What's hard is when you do a BOR approach with no GPS overlay. Hey, we have about 800 feet to go.
Hey, 500 feet to go. Wiggly, I'm trying to. I don't want to overcorrect because I know that's what I usually do. <laughs> yeah, it's looking real good right now. Hundred feet to go. All right, go missed. And Delaware Traffic 75746, uh, we're executing miss approach for runway 28. We'll be departing uh, towards west. How'd that approach feel? Uh, well that was actually pr pretty good because I felt I actually like had it almost like centered centered for a little while and then like as I got closer it, it started to go all over yeah. the place which is what I kind of expect now. And w the closer and closer you get the more sensitive it becomes. Right. Columbus, de Columbus departure, yeah. Columbus departure, sky 75746 on the NIST at 2000, going to 3000 at uh, Marysville. 75746, Columbus departure, IDEN, altimeter 29075. IDEN. Some, some country, 201, contact uh, Indy, sir, 120.47, see ya. 120.47, some country, 8201, bye bye. Fire trailer, Brick Air 6105, 3000, climbing 5000. Brick Air 6105, climbing Sparks, right or contact, climbing, maintain 10, 0, 10,000. Turn right, direct, gives on course. I would go ahead and start setting up the next approach. Gives on course. Okay, so I got AWOS and CTAF in here. Okay. Um, and then we gotta go here. There go, flight plan. I'm scroll up and delete the approach. 746 Rider Contact 3 West of Delaware. Just verify you have the weather at Marysville. Turn left, hang 180. We'll pick up the weather at Marysville and then turn hang left, 180. Rick Air 6105 Contact Indy Center on 124.45. So uh, you just yeah, remove Delaware? Ah. Uh. Backspace is right there. Gotcha, that's what I was looking for. Yep. Um, here we go. Oh. November 746, turn right hang 240, intercept the final approach course. Right, 
Final for runway 27, Marysville traffic, 75746. Hey, this is looking better. We're a little bit fast still. I already noticed a couple things. I never took the flaps out for the last one. Oh. And we never got uh, AWOS here. We never got the weather. And that's what happens when things start moving so fast, you know? This is the first time I've flown this circuit before, and I actually really like it. I like how fast we get onto this approach. Yeah, so let's correct. I don't like ever being below the glide path. I don't have the runway in 
side, so let's go around. If you want to see where you ended up, wow, that's pretty decent. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Should we just fly over and then turn 180? I would start my climb now. But yeah, you can, you can turn to 180 now. Brickyard uh, 9869, leveling 1 1000 with India request uh, to a left. Brickyard 9869. Let's climb at like 80 knots. Hey Bob, see Vector for the visual approach to left of Santa Main, same 10 10,000. Quickly, hey Bob, 10,000, and we're headed to the hangar tonight, sir. Now, now that we're on the miss, any one eight zero. We're going to the eight eighty one traffic. Fog one at fog five miles eastbound is uh, sir five thousand. All right, currently I am C, but we'll be looking. So let's climb at uh, at eighty knots. Two Amigal traffic nine o'clock three miles south eastbound Denver one seventy six thousand. Yeah. Here and all right. Brickyard 
reduce speed to 210, contact approach 118.2. 
type of uh, landing ice equipment do we have on board? Not the pedo heat. <laughs> yeah, we have pedo heat, uh, carb heat, and uh, a defroster. Where is the defroster? Oh, I guess uh, this one doesn't have the defroster, just has the cabin heat. Guys, 45 and 46, turn right heading 0401, able direct gives on course. 040 direct gives on course, Sky West, uh, 45, 46. And approach 74, Charlie Delta has State. Southwest 6178, Clemens departure radar contact, climb maintain 10, 0, 10,000. The nice thing about the winter flying is you don't get as much of a contactive weather. Hey, for four kilo. Roger, have clearance for Feelings are always really low, though. <laughs> yeah, so it's a trade off. <laughs> So let's try and make this one perfect. Nine or eight is zero. Charlie Delta, Columbus, you still on me? I like that idea. <laughs> Flight design three, November Mike, you ready to count to beat the bolt mill two nine or seven four? Where do you want to go again? 
And when in my scan, I'm always thinking, okay, well, this instrument is trending this way. What does that mean? What should I anticipate the airplane is going to do? I see, okay, I'm a little fast. Four six, turn right, heading 180. Right, 180. Recare 4576, turn right, heading at 320, descend to maintain 6. And already at 180, oh, 180, not 080. 7 Juliet Sierra, you got the weather up there in Knox County. What approach you want?
Delta, Delta Air, can extend downwind to follow Cessna traffic about uh, three and a half mile final T7 left. Okay, yeah, zero Charlie Delta will extend us downwind. The comments, are we are we entering miles out? Six out of eight, two, number two in line, two okay. seven left, good land phone, uh, serious traffic on a very short final will not be a factor. Uh, traffic is just heading to your right on the straight end, two seven left. Okay, was that him just landing at zero Charlie Delta? Negative. To your side, say again, the traffic is three and a half mile final. Zero Charlie Delta, thanks. Okay, we have a thousand feet to go. Here's six Papa Zulu Tower, turn left that taxiway, Charlie, be off to the ramp, monitor ground point seven today. Turn left to Charlie and uh, Alpha to the ramp, monitor ground, Bravo Zulu. Thank you, sir. Getting all wiggly, getting pushed around a little bit, too. Sorry, the other traffic okay. is now 2 o'clock, 2 miles, straight in, two, something left, 2,000. Sir, Charlie, to the floor. as a crosswind component. Okay, we have 200 to go. You can take your hood off. Right where you want to be. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> I'll get some more flaps in. Watch your speed, though. This is going to be bad. Well, <laughs> X1, parking on the main ramp. 46 Doctor, let's taxiway Charlie Alpha to the ramp, monogram, point 7, good day. Charlie Alpha, monogram, 7546. much that extra air speed made a difference when he tried to flare? <laughs> well, I have one we like dropped and... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. I've had a little bit of a downdraft or something. I, mean, I knew we were, well, I knew we were going to float, but... <laughs> yeah. Nice how they just always let us taxi right in. Probably saves you point on the hobs. What I mean, what else would they do? Like, I a lot of other airports will have you exit and then contact around and request clearance to taxi. When 
it's busy, then you might have to wait three or four minutes before you get the word out. How did that flight feel today? Uh, a lot better in the, than flights in the past where I yeah, it felt was more wishy-washy. But like again, once I got close, I, but somehow I don't know. Why, I think I just like with the wind. I knew I was like it helped me like stay to one side. Yeah, because yeah, you weren't Charlie chasing the needles the at all, really. Actually, like on that last one, my uh, like my vertical profile was pretty good. Like I had that pretty yeah. much. Whereas typically it's all over the place. I was pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought you did a good job. I took a bunch of notes we can talk about when we get back up. And it's just kind of like little stuff that you need to work on improving in your scan. Uh, 5.1? Uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be 5.1.